Okay, picking up from the last little clip, um, the next thing I want to show you is how to set up your own custom solution for including your own custom project. Now before we do that, I thought it would be informative to show you how I do it. Uh, this is my custom solution that I use for my add-on paid product, and I work, you know, directly from SVN. You know, my paid products are not in SVN, but the core of Mojo Portal is. I just have basically a, a backup routine. You could have your projects coming from a different repository. Uh, but when you when I open my solution, of course, I have all the data layers for all the projects. But you can see my projects for my features, uh, Event Calendar Pro, this is the web UI project for that, the business layer and the various supported data layers, Form Wizard Pro, uh, we also have the web UI project for that, and um, the data layer and business layer and all, and all that other stuff. So. You know, these are my custom projects, they're not part of Mojo Portal, but I'm working in the same solution, and that's how I develop it. And on disk, the way it looks, um, let me go back to here. This is, uh, now I check out from my sandbox in SVN, where you use trunk, but you see I have this folder here, STS Projects. All my paid projects live under that folder, even though in Visual Studio they're pretty much at the same level. I've got them all kind of self-contained in this folder, so basically I back up this folder. You could have your folder like this with different projects in it, and they could all be coming from your own source code repository, uh, separate from the Mojo Portal source code repository. And then the only file that would kind of be unversioned would be the actual solution file, because it has to live in the root um, you know, you could periodically copy that file up up to your folder to check it into your repository, but that would be the one file that kind of lives in a folder that would be under the control of Mojo Portal's repository, but the file itself is not included in there, um, but you can't really put it in your own repository because it's in this folder. So going back though, what we want to do is show you how to do your own. So I'm going to close the solution. And I'm going to go back to the folder we were in where I set up this tutorial, which was under Tutorials Mojo Portal. And so basically the, what we want here is to copy the MS SQL only solution file just to a different place. And we'll just rename it to um, Let's pretend we have a company called Acme. And we'll uh, you can name it whatever you like. And then once you rename it, you just drop it back in to the root. And now you can open that solution in Visual Studio. And it's the same as the one uh, from before. I mean, it's the same as the Microsoft SQL only solution. It only has it has the same projects that were in there. But now we can add our custom projects. So first thing we're going to do, let's see, again, this thing always wants to seem to expand everything. But I want to collapse some things so I can see what I'm doing. Often I like to keep the uh, user.config file open. Okay, so the first step we want to do now is add a, uh, a web UI project that will be our first web UI project. Now, like I said before, you probably want to put that in a custom folder. So let's make a folder here called Acme underscore projects. And actually, sometimes I like to name the folder with an underscore at the beginning to make it float to the top, make it easy to find your stuff. So that'll be the parent folder for all the projects that we'll create in the solution. And we'll start right out by right clicking the solution, add a new project. And the kind of project we want is a ASP.NET web application. And I'll call this acme.web.ui. And we got to choose our folder where we want to put it. 
otherwise it would just put it in the root and then we'll say OK and it creates our project it creates a default.asbx page which we don't need and a web.config file which we need but we don't want to deploy it up to mojoporn.web yes ok visual studio is still working a little bit here ok so it opens up this default.aspx page that it created for us which we don't need so I'm going to go ahead and delete that file now when we deploy our feature up to mojoportal.web, we want it to be in its own folder. So uh, through the rest of this series, I'm going to kind of choose a project. I'm going to make a little guest book uh, application for us. So I'll create a new folder, and I'll just call it guest book. And in that folder, I need to add a new user control. And to start out, we'll just make one and we'll call this Hello World. Or Hello Web. <laughs> and now this is a normal user control. Um, inherits from user control. You can use that in Mojo Portal, but there's a lot of uh, benefit to inheriting from our site module control. So what we need to do is make a reference from our custom web project to mojoportal.web, we right click the references node and choose the projects tab and then we just choose mojoportal.web and we can set a reference to that. Now odds are we're going to need some other references here later but we'll, we'll just start with what we need for right now. Um, now a quick thing, um, I have a tool called Codesmith and there's actually a free older version of it if you don't have the product, if you look in this Codesmith templates folder, there's an old freeware version and this is it. And most of my templates actually still work with that old version. Uh, if you've got, I highly recommend the newer version though. Uh, it's a great product. And in there, I have a bunch of uh, templates in that folder and one of them is a UI uh, starter module generator. It just makes it easy to stub out some kind of boilerplate code. Um, I'm going to call this, uh, I'm going to, we don't even have a project for the business layer yet, but I'll just say it's going to be called acne.features.ui, or .business, and we're going to name this, uh, well, let's see, the file we already have a name is hello web, and, whoops, We'll just do this. And the namespace will just again be acme.web.ui. And now I can just hit the play button on this. And it gives me the parts I need both for the code behind and for. Um, getting started on the front part. So I'm going to first grab the code part and I'm going to go back into Visual Studio. I'm going to paste that in there. And then I got to go to this part and I need the other part at the top of the file, which is from here to here. And then um, it's complaining about this module title control. What we need to do so that it can understand the Mojo Portal controls is to copy this chunk from Mojo Portal Mojo Portal's web.config. No, I hate the way Visual Studio jumps where I don't want it to go. And what we're looking for is the pages section. You can pretty much copy this whole thing because it has all these control references. And you want to put that in your web project, web.config. And you'll find there's this here we just want to replace. How are we looking on time here? 10 minutes. So i got to stop here. Uh, we'll pick up in the next clip.